and welcome back to the Roger Roger Reviews channel, and today we're taking a look at the Stars of Black series Super Battle Droid from the Attack of the Clones line. Look at the front of the box, I am immediately blown away by the scale of the figure that is shown right here in the window. Of course you have this blast accessory, but overall looks incredible. You get the Black Series logo up there, the name of the line the character is from, and his name down here. And then here on the side, you get this really cool artwork of uh, the Super Battle Droid on the side mural and his name on the bottom. Checking out the back, you get a bigger portrait of the mural. Um, you do get a description of the character, the number which it falls into the line, and much little warnings. Here's side of the box, bottom, and the top. But I'll go ahead and open them up and see what's inside. Here he is, I got him with the plastic. And here he is out of the box. And looking up close, I am just blown away again. Look at this. It's been so long, and I think I'm speaking for, you know, a lot of collectors out there. We've been wanting the Super Battle Droid in the Black Series scale for some time now, and yeah, this is definitely worth the wait. But I'll go ahead and review from top to bottom. Looking at the <laughs> main body uh, right here sort of like putting together the head and the torso in one sort of like overview it looks really good uh, I really like how it has like this um, sort of like gunmetal coating on it looks really neat with the uh, lighting gives off that reflection really nicely um, for the headpiece looks really nice I love what they did here and then you know of course he has that red button right here the back plating is very nice as well. He looks so intimidating. And of course, you can see right here, he does have a ball joint in the uh, upper waist. So your side to side, back, and forward. Look at the arms. The arm does go all the way around. It sticks out about there. And then he does have an elbow joint, so it goes up right there. And he does have movement right here at the wrist, so you're able to move it and swivel around pretty easily. Looking at the other side, arm sticks out a little bit right there, goes all the way around. Of course, his elbow does go right there, and again, he does have a swivel and articulation at the wrist at the hand right here. And the only difference with this hand is, is where the blaster is at on his forearm. Another thing I do like about the uh, arms is even though they don't really stick out as much, he does have like a really, really uh, nice ball joint right here, almost like a butterfly joint, but it has like a 360 degree angle on it. So you're able to move it pretty easily around just like that. It gives a lot of mobility. So that's a nice feature. Looking at the waist, um, he has some plating right here in the ab section, um, and then of course does run down with some gears and gizmos running inside his legs. And speaking of the legs, he does go out a little bit into a split position, he does go into a sitting position, and his legs go back pretty far, and he does sort of have like a swivel on the thighs I guess you could say. Um, looking at the knees, really neat feature right here. Um, they have like these little indentures, so they go past a kneeling position all the way right there. And finally, looking at the uh, feet, feet do point down right there, point up very nicely, and you do get rock wrinkles, so you get some cool action poses. And before I move on to the accessory, real quick, I did want to show this really neat sort of like feature. And you can actually break down the Super Battle Droid's main body right here. So, for instance, if you shimmy the head, it does take a little bit of time. Uh, the head can come off, showing uh, the sort of like inner workings, like the uh, electronics, things like that. And the same with the chest plate. You just remove it, and it shows some really neat, like electronics the inner workings of the droid itself um, there are some little pegs right here so I guess first off we'll place the head 
might be a little easier. You just snap it on with the peg right there. Then you can take the plating, push it inwards right here. It is made of a softer plastic, so that's always good to see. But yeah, it's super interesting. Uh, I guess they kind of took that um, into like uh, reference with the battle droids from Republic Commando in a way. So that's kind of neat. And finally, looking at the accessory that is included, it is a firing or blaster accessory right here. Super, uh, you know, cool accessory. We don't really get many blaster effects in uh, the most of the figures. So again, you see this one is a must. Um, it is made specifically for the Super Battle Droid, and I'll show you guys why. But really, really cool. Has this red coloring for the most part. Has this blaster effect that is really well you know, detailed, things like that. And I'll show you how to put it on. So of course you want to put him in his firing position just by turning his arm, pointing his forearm in front with the blasters. And as you can see right here, there are two little holes and there is a sort of like flatter piece to this blaster effect. So all you want to do is just direct those holes inside the turrets right there. And you can line up his arm and there you go. This is so neat because I'll explain it in a bit, but there's tons of possibilities that you can use this firing effect for, and I'll explain in my overview. And real quick before I do the overview, um, here's a size comparison with the uh, Phase 1 Clone Trooper from the same lineup and the new Super Battle Droid right beside him. They're not too uh, far apart as far as the uh, scale. Of course, the Super Battle Droid is a little bit larger, but... Proportion wise, it's pretty much, you know, the same way. So it's an overview of the figure. <laughs> I love him. This is definitely something that, you know, a lot of collectors, like I've said before, have been waiting a long time to see, you know, in Black Series scale. And now that we have the Super Battle Droid finally in possession, it's definitely worth uh, as an army builder. Like it's the perfect intimidating droid that you want in your collection. I I love the overall look, the feel, the articulation is great. I was expecting him to be a little bit wonky, especially in the legs because of the, you know, large proportion of uh, the main torso. But other than that, the figure stands really well. Um, I love the accessory, the blasting accessory, as you can see right here. <laughs> um, but overall, it's a really, you know, great figure. Definitely worth picking up, and if you want to try and, you know, build your army up, you gotta put a few of these guys in there. Definitely worth it. And something to do at the end of these reviews, is show you all how to display the figures, having the box in the back, and the figure in the front. But, I'm gonna leave you here, and say if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, and if that's the content you see here on the channel so far, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you all on the next one.